Welcome to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial, this time with a little bit of Unity. Um, I wanted to show you uh, just a quick tutorial on how to uh, bake an object with uh, realistic looking lighting um, so that you don't have to mess with any lighting when you finally export it into your game engine, and in this case, uh, Unity. So what we're looking at right here is a cube with some IES lighting and a uh, little uh, just quick and dirty street light here. Um, on the outside of what we're just calling a basic wall. So I'm going to show you how to create this and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first things first, I'm just going to create a cube right here and put it uh, roughly around where the floor would be and then I'm going to add a floor um, just for the sake of kind of seeing what the lighting is doing. Um, that's not going to be something that I'm going to export, but uh, that's what we're going to start with. Um, and then I'm going to give this cube a little bit of material and I'm going to put a link to where I've got some of these materials from uh, but I've already imported them. There's these pixel DG materials and we're just going to use this wall material. So I'm going to put that on my cube. It's going to give it this kind of stucco look. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, just some scene lighting. So I'm just going to add a basic uh, light here and I'll uh, tint it just a little bit and I'm gonna put shadows on shadow map soft for right now so we've got a realistic look there and then we're gonna add our IES light so uh, another is where you can find some free IES lights but if you've already imported everything with Cinema 4D you should already have some of these. Um, so if we click on IES Lite, and then if you just search, if you're using a, a, P, a Mac, you should be able to find a whole bunch of IES lights that are already in there. I'm just going to use this number five, and now you'll see that I've got the light in there. I need to adjust my rotation a little bit and hold down Shift to rotate it to 90 degrees and put it roughly where I want on my wall and one thing to keep in mind is you probably want to angle it out just a little bit from your wall so that looks fairly realistic but not really because it's just now just a point in space creating light so now we're going to create another uh, cube and I'm going to scale this thing down quite a bit and just kind of position this on my wall And like I said, this is a very quick and dirty light. So we're just going to go something like that. I'm going to make it editable, go into polygons mode, and now I'm going to create a new material, get rid of the color, and just turn on the luminance channel. And the same thing here, I'm going to tint it just a little bit yellow. Select the polygon face, which is the bottom of the light post or the, the light bulb, where the light bulb would be, and add it there. And now, it's starting to look fairly realistic. Um, one thing I like to do with this light is, since it's going to be a nighttime scene, the overall scene light, I'm going to give it a nice kind of blue feel, something muted like that. Um, you'll notice, though, that it's creating this shadow um, because the light's kind of right above it, so you might want to just move the light a little bit further away from your light. And you can even turn this into an ambient illumination, which kind of lights your scene a little bit more evenly. So something like that is starting to look pretty good. Um, obviously, there's a lot more adjustments we could do, but this is really about getting it set up and it exported. So now I have a cube. And then I've got another cube, which is my actual light. So I'm going to make that a child of my building cube. And I'm going to make it editable so I can select my children and just connect these objects and delete. So I've got one, one overall object here that we're going to call Baked Light Tutorial. Great. So now what do we do? Well, we've, we want to bake this object so that it creates a material that has our lighting and shadows and everything included. 
Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to take these light objects to the floor or anything else and put it as a child of the object, the baked light tutorial object. You want to keep them separate. And we're just going to click on the baked light tutorial and go in and we're going to bake object. Um, and we're going to just make sure illuminate is selected and single texture. And I have my root folder set up here. Um, and I'm just going to click bake. Now I only went with 512 by 512. Um, it's it's good enough, but if you want to take another crack at it, uh, you can just go ahead and uh, make sure this is highlighted again. Bake, and I'm going to go double it basically. So I'm going to go 1024 by 1024. It's going to take a little bit longer, but it will create a higher resolution image that is mapping as a texture to my uh, to my little wall set up here. Okay, um, so now what I'm going to do is I don't need anything anymore. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff, and I still got what I need as far as material. Now you might want to actually go into your baked light material and just get rid of reflectance. Um, you don't need that and now it looks very realistic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go file export FBX and we're going to call this the baked light light tutorial and I'm putting it in my tutorials folder I'm going to hit save and I'm in, I'm in Cinema 4D R18 um, I'm just going to make sure that I have all these textures items turned on I don't need animation I don't need lights as it's baked. So we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to jump into uh, Unity here. So I'm in a Unity scene that's got nothing in it. And I'm going to go to Import, New Asset. And we're going to find our Baked Light Tutorial FBX and go ahead and import that. And now you're going to notice uh, that there's nothing here. There's nothing going on. So if I drag this into my scene, I'm I'm not going to see anything. I will see the um, the little lamp posts right there, right? That's there, but there is no material, and that's easy to fix. So we're going to go ahead and right-click here under Assets, and we're going to import a new asset, and it should have created this uh, baked light tutorial surface color tiff. I'm going to go ahead and pull that in. And then the last step is we're going to create a material. We're going to call it baked light material. And I'll go ahead and go to the albedo. And now we can select right here what we need. And now I've got my baked light material here that's wrapped. All I got to do is just drag this onto my model. And voila, there is my 3D model with baked lighting ready to be used in the game engine simple as that um, I'll put links to where I got these materials as well as some IES lights and if you have any questions feel free to ask but this should give you a good start so anyway this has been a quick tutorial uh, subscribe ask questions and I'll talk to you guys soon